Hello! What is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, my name is Sam. Very nice to meet you. Welcome to a brand new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have not really been doing intros lately other than just like a hi, how you doing, welcome, good to see ya. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Honestly, that's what this channel is, I guess we could say. That's what I am. Whatever I feel is what I do. I'm inconsistent as shit. No consistency whatsoever. No type of schedule or rhyme or reason for that matter. <laughs> would say there's a method to my madness but there isn't it's just like when I've had a hard day or a hard few days all I've done is just like be in mommy mode there is nothing and I mean nothing like sitting down pulling out several plants that I adore and showing them to you guys and getting to talk about them with you guys I don't have a therapist y'all are my therapist so thank you very much for that this is a, a hobby I do it because I enjoy it and there's no other reason so I just post when I can when I feel like it yeah today I wanted to share with y'all some of my favorite foliage new foliage to be exact lots of my plants are growing right now and giving me beautiful new leaves and so I have went through and handpicked just a few to sit down and show y'all. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite new leaves. If you are interested in checking out some of the new leaves on some of my plants, then stick around and let's do it. Okay. So the first new leaf, or a couple of new leaves, because there's actually a couple I wanna talk about here. But this is my uh, pink princess is because there's a couple different plants in here. There's uh, an Indonesian Pink princess in here, which is this one and that's where our first new leaf comes off of so um, these are kind of updates too So the aeroid market pink princess they sent me This one right this is the new leaf that it just put off I potted it up with my cuttings that I got from a trade and look how gorgeous that is that's like the perfect leaf i love whenever some of the new leaves come in and they're so dark that it looks black in contrast with the beautiful bright pink and the leaves like oh my gosh isn't that gorgeous i can already tell by the old leaves of this plant as well as this new one that this pink princess is gonna have some gorgeous gorgeous variegation we're gonna have a lot of fun together like that's amazing but then there's another new leaf right here and this one is actually coming off of my traded pink princess if you see that it's tiny but it is so pretty as well almost a half moon this leaf here is relatively new as well i mean this is just such a gorgeous pink princess so technically i guess i would have four pink pink princesses in total but not really because there was two single leaf cuttings in here that have now became their own plants and then the aeroid market one and then the other pink princess that my husband scored for me in the last video at the end of the last video like look at that wow this one does have some pretty pink in it though like but anyways yeah i am so impressed with this plant i just really i know a lot of people don't really care that much for the pink princess and i understand that like you either love it or hate it i feel like some people think it's overhyped they don't get it some people just hate the color pink and plants but for me i've owned a few and each of them that i have owned has been just gorgeous so there's it's really not possible with my history and the ones i currently have in my collection is not possible i love it and so far i am not disappointed but by any of the new leaves that she has right now but especially like my goodness my goodness Ooh, we are on a roll tonight okay we're getting hot and heavy a little quick my gorgeous one of my gorgeous philodendron esmeralda ends I do have another one rooting in water. It's much smaller though. Oh my gosh, you guys. So she's had this leaf for a bit. I can't really take credit for it because it was on its way. Well, it was already more than on its way. It was here when I unboxed this plant, but it was fresh. Like it just came out. Um, so it was completely red whenever I initially got it. I've had it for a while now, but anyways, it still has some red on the back and it doesn't feel like it's necessarily completely hardened off. So I felt like I could still include it and get away with it but also like look at all the red left over this leaf is insane but look at this oh my gosh i thought it was making its way out 
because it has gotten a lot brighter since I got the plan but I guess not I don't know that's incredible like what is that but this is the one that we're talking about okay I'm obsessed with this plant I love elongated leaves especially on a philodendron like there's just something about it and this one the shape of it it's so shiny and it's also pillowy like this plant offers a lot this leaf offers a lot really really a big fan of not only this leaf but this plant as world ends she is hot stuff here we have my anthurium vici or vici the king anthurium and this one is the type so i think it's a little less narrow and elongated than the regular but it, correct me if i'm wrong this one, I mean, it's not much yet because you guys know anthurium leaves come in itty bitty and then gradually they grow bigger over time. So I'm pretty sure he had this leaf when I got him. He gave me this leaf last and then he kind of went a little bit dormant for the winter for a couple of months and now he's ready to grow again. This is his newest leaf. We really can't gauge how large it's gonna get aside from this is his newest leaf and this is his largest but I'll include a little update photo on the screen or clip if it gets larger before I upload this video I just had to brag on him for a minute because it's a new leaf like I said it's tiny but still beautiful nonetheless and it's gonna make for a gorgeous mature leaf whenever it's done growing so Vici, so pretty. Let's go ahead and get the last anthurium um, out the way that I'm gonna show you in this video. Or no, I take that back. There's one more. Never mind. This is <laughs> oh god, this is sad. I really wanted to show you this one for this reason. So this is my anthurium waterberryanum. And I don't know, he just went on the struggle bus, you guys, with all the spider mites. This is one that definitely did not handle the spider mite attacks well at all. It just didn't handle it. It just completely shut down, wasn't growing, crisping its leaves, just not having it, right? So anyways, again, it's been dormant for a couple of months and you can see its last remaining leaf. Like it's been tough. He's had a tough start to his year, okay? Honestly, that just makes me love this plant even more. And it surprised the heck on me. Look how cute that freaking leaf is. Are you kidding me? How cute is this guy? Oh my gosh. And it's heart shaped. Like what? Oh, it's so pretty. This is the sweetiest of sweety plants. This snuck up on me. Um, I was just leaving it be, letting it chill hoping it would you know snap out of it this leaf was facing me so when I got in there and was like really looking for new growth I seen this leaf and it was already out you guys it was already out it had unfurled and everything it was like this big I've been staring at it every day since I discovered the new leaf because I'm just so excited and making sure that it doesn't get mites again because I already know this will happen to this beautiful leaf and I'm gonna be pissed I, I have no words. The Anthurium waterberryanum is such a gorgeous Anthurium. It's such a gorgeous variety and I have no idea why I don't see it talked about much more than it is because, oh my gosh, resilient, suede, heart-shaped, neon venation. It has everything. The texture is unlike anything you have ever touched in your life, I promise you. Now we're gonna do the last Anthurium in this video which is one that I talk about quite a lot. My fabulous Anthurium politiflorum. So last time we checked in, he had given us this tiny, wonky, jacked the heck up leaf, right? I told you guys that it was definitely because of the mites as well. And a possible underwatering or two, maybe? Hardened off exactly like this. Didn't get any bigger. However, I think I showed you guys that it was starting to push out another new leaf. So, here's a little update. This leaf did not do anything, but it's still there. It still eats, okay? It still eats, it still takes in light, so we're not even worried about it. It was just a boo-boo, a boo-boo leaf. This was the first leaf it gave me, and this one hasn't stopped growing even through the spider mites, as you can see. It's not a super fast grower, but honestly it kind of is, because by the time it hardens off its, its last newest leaf, it's usually pushing out another one. So yeah, this one is almost 
as long, not quite, but it's getting there as the first new leaf that he gave me. And so, and it's perfect. Like, look at that. Not a single flaw. I got rid of the mites and I've kept up with his watering. And oh my gosh, it's just fabulous. It's still growing. So it has the potential of getting even larger than this leaf. That'll be pretty cool. I'm gonna keep an update going on my Instagram, so be sure and follow me over there if you're not already. Uh, if you wanna see this leaf whenever it gets to its full size, like whenever it's done growing and hardening off. Again, so dang proud of this plant. Like, I love it, love it, love it. This one definitely is one that would be like my top like three Ethereums, hands down. New mic has been ordered. I repeat. My new mic has been ordered. It is on its way to me. Bear with me. Please talk about Miss Albo Syngonium. All of this gorgeousness, all this fancy. This plant is like a fairy. It's magical. This is the newest leaf, and I don't know what it is about that leaf, but like all the leaves are different on this plant when they come in, right? None of them look the same. No two look the same. However, this one just looks kind of like army-ish to me. I don't know what it is. It's so pretty. I love how she has this little white corner over here in the corner of the leaf uh, up on the lobe. Beautiful, but guys, look at this new one coming in. Can you even see that? It's all white, so probably not. Like I don't see any green on that leaf. This one here is the same. There's a little bit of green up here in this lobe, but otherwise it's all white and it's gorgeous and it's still surviving so and then we have this one little half moon moment you have all this white going on here and then this one the next one it pops out has mostly all green and then boom the next new leaf is all freaking white again it's just it's the perfect amount of green and white so it can still properly photosynthesize and all of that good stuff I love my Albo, I will always love her. She's just popping out gorgeous after gorgeous, one right after another, love it. This is my Philodendron Bipinifolium, and this is a baby, this isn't the Bipinifolium. I'll put a clip up on the screen of the mama because she is absolutely massive, just huge, okay? This is the reason I cut her a few months ago and this was one of the cuttings but anyways look at this new leaf so i have the regular green bipinifolium and the aria doesn't this look like the aria like it's like a yellow color lime green but i have them both and i have to say they look so similar because the regular green one puts out the same yellowish type of leaves as my Aria. It's a little bit confusing for me, but either way, I love the bipinifolium so very much, so I don't mind having multiple of these in my home, even though they are spider mite magnets. But how gorgeous is this new leaf? And it's like a good size. This is the first one it's given me since I actually took the cutting and put it in moss, so I'm gonna assume, and by tugging on it, like it's down in there really snug, that it has fully rooted up and is happy now because it's actively growing like oh it just looks so pretty this is also known as the horsehead philodendron if you aren't aware I don't really like the animal names myself but I can see why it's called that like the long nose and snout you know and the ears yeah I can see why it's called that but oof gorgeous this one's gonna be a beautiful little plant just like his mama. Oh, okay guys, really quickly, I have a couple Hoya to show you. This is my little Hoya Bordinii. Let me take the name card out so you can really see, see him well. Look at this, you guys. I have had this plant now for a year and it it grew a little bit it probably put off three or four leaves probably the first like nine months that i had it tried different living conditions just wasn't a fast grower but it was gorgeous so i didn't mind i threw it in my grow tent you guys and i'm telling you i counted like seven or eight new leaves on this thing uh like two weeks after i put it in my grow tent all at one time just coming in everywhere i posted it on my instagram and now like i, I couldn't even tell you they're all new it had like five leaves when i stuck it in the grow tent and you can see all of these ones, how sun stressed they are from my grow light. I have them setting on the top shelf right up under the grow light, which not many plants can actually handle, but this one does beautifully. Like, look at that. So I'm not really showing you just a new leaf on this one. It's all of the new leaves. Like one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it has like nine or ten now. It had seven a week or so ago, two weeks ago maybe. So look at that. Insane. This so one just needed very bright light, I guess. Like literally very bright, super direct sunlight. The moment I gave that to this plant, it just has blown me away. Look at this teeny tiny one right here though. Like how freaking cute is that? Who's gonna tell me that's not adorable? It's the cutest thing you've ever seen. I'm not gonna remember how to pronounce this. I think it starts with a T. A very, very neat Hoya, okay? This was sent to me. Look at the little butt. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that. There's like a little booty. <gasps> oh my freaking gosh, are you kidding me? Okay, so this was sent to me in a little package, like a little secret Santa thing that we did. This was sent to me from Millennial Planter. It was a cutting off of hers and I put it in a prop bag. Anyways, it's in soil now, you guys, and it's given me its first new leaves, and I'm so excited. He, as well, is sitting on that top shelf under my Mars Hydro. I just noticed this like a week ago. Somehow it got bit over the lip of this pot, and you can see that it was like stuck like that, and I pulled it off, and now this is what we have, but I don't even care. The leaves are so freaking shiny and just delicious looking like I don't know something about these leaves I just want to like take a bite of the, out of them or something so this leaf and right behind this new babe came this guy how cute please focus anyways that guy is adorable and I don't want to touch it because I don't want to knock it off but I am really thankful that for this Hoya honestly not gonna lie this was probably my favorite thing definitely my favorite thing that she sent me so here's a little update on that guy because it's doing fantastic and I'm just excited I guess with Hoya I think that's probably been my main issue that I just didn't realize for a long time was even when I thought I was giving them super bright light I really wasn't I was probably giving them like medium light you know what I mean um yeah because I was just like they're getting super bright light and they're still not growing that wasn't bright light. Bright light is directly under the sun or under a light source, like directly. They can handle it, trust me. The last one I wanted to share with you guys, there's so many, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it, you guys, I'm sorry, is my Mexicanum, who I rotted. Actually, I don't think I rotted him, he came to me with root rot. Um, I'm pretty sure, I don't remember, maybe I did rot him, I probably did. Anyways, he is fully rooted and he's been growing for a little while now. The leaves used to be larger. Okay, that's an old leaf there. All of these basically are his newer leaves since I re-rooted him and maybe this one as well, I don't know. But definitely these three and you can see that they're smaller. But I actually think the leaves are so precious and adorable at this size. I think they're cute as crap, I don't know. Um, but look how shiny and pretty that is. Boom. It has like these orangey colored backs. So dang cute. Oh, I love you so much. So here's a little update on my Mexicanum. It has rerooted and is growing actively again. So yay for that. Maybe she'll have her hot girl summer finally this summer, summer 22, because last year was not it. All right, all right, that's it. That's all I have to show you. I do have lots more, okay? I have such a hard, hard time narrowing down what plants I wanna show, show you guys in what videos, I swear. I would just show you my entire collection in one setting if I allowed myself to. But I gotta save some for like future content, you know? I gotta have something to talk about in the future. Uh, so those are just a few of my favorite new leaves. And, um, I guess technically this is a little update as well. If you made it this far, thank you so, so much for sticking it out and making it all the way to the end. Y'all are the real ones, okay? I appreciate you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video, hanging out with me today. I will see you again very, very soon in my next video. Love you guys so very much. See ya.